to see me for years. The real son is black. Corey? Corey Baker? <laughs> it's not. He's white. Only he gets orange and pink from flying around in the night air. You're <laughs> He's black like my Uncle Lou. Pink and orange. Brown and black. Pink and orange. Brown and black. Pink Boys, and what orange. are you Brown doing? Pink and orange. Brown and black. Now you torn my hat. You did. You broke my dust coloring book. Stop it. Earl, it's time for you to go home. Corey and I have to leave. He's the worst coloring guy in the whole world. You are Santa Claus's black. Oh, yeah, and not when he flies in California. Pick up your crayons, Corey. We'll be late for the party. Boy, talk about dumb kids. Rosie Wagner thinks Santa Claus is white. Everybody knows he's black. Right, Mama? Well, darling, Santa Claus is really the spirit of Christmas giving. He, uh, he can be any color. He appears different to different people. He can be black, white, or red, or yellow, to each his own. Well, in Kansas, when he came to our house, he was black. By now, millions of hard-earned dollars have been flung down the rat hole of giftum. Unworn ties, broken toys, and... drunken feasts. <laughs> A whole nation of sentimental suckers. I knew you'd catch the spirit of Christmas sooner or later, Doctor. Where's Baker? Bringing your son in for the employee's party. I thought we agreed that the banal baubles and the commercial trappings of the season were to be left at home. But the only thing we ever agreed on, Doctor, is that bandages should be sterile. Merry Christmas. Oh, hello, both of you. Hi, Mrs. Yardy. Well, dear. Hello, Dr. Chantley. Merry Christmas. Well, ah, young man, you're all dressed up, I see. Yes, sir. I got my handsome clothes on for the party. What do you think of our office? It's very clean. Is this where you and Mrs. Yarby work, Mom? Yes, like slaves. Corey, I understand you want to be a doctor. What do you think of our lash-up? Your what? Our clinic. Boy, it's neat. Especially the tree. Well, sometimes we manage to function without that. <laughs> Come on over here. Get up right there, hmm? Is this where you pull out people's blood? Yes, uh, in small doses, usually. Where do you keep it? Well, we send it to the laboratories for tests. Don't you ever give it back? No, we're very stingy that way. You sure have lots of equipment here. Does my mother know how to work all this stuff? Oh, yes. Yeah, your mother's very smart. Are you smart, too? Well... I'll answer that question, Yarby. <laughs> Look, shall I show you how to work this equipment? Sure. Which one? How do you make the Christmas tree bubble? <laughs> I think warm thoughts of loved ones far and near. And that makes the tree bubble? The details are worked out by Mrs. Yarby. I think it's party time, Corey. Let's get over to the cafeteria. You coming, doctor? No, I'll pass. They're giving out presents and cake. You know, my son, as you march through life, you'll realize there's more to Christmas than presents and cake. It's supposed to be the celebration of the birth of Christ. But over the years, the jackals of merchandom have pounced on it until baby Jesus runs a poor fifth behind toys, trees, turkeys, and yo, ho, ho. Christmas is a day for family, for the counting of blessings. I resent the intrusion of anything more than that. Well... Since our family is back in Kansas, Doctor, we shall now enjoy presents and gifts. And if we're lucky, a little ho, ho, ho. Excuse us, Hannah. Boy, he sure knows lots of words I never heard of. <laughs> what did you do that for? Do what? Lecture the child on the meaning of Christmas. Can anybody enjoy the holidays without your Scrooge philosophy? Scrooge? Yes, yeah, Scrooge. Here's a six-year-old boy without a father and 2,000 miles from his nearest kin. What's the matter with toys and turkey and a jingle bell or two? Well, he... He bugged me about how that tree works. Yeah, me too. I expected him to ask about the EKG machine or the sigmoidoscope. about the family. 
Uncle Lou and Aunt Emma, they live in Dorston, Kansas. Scrooge, yeah? Yes. And a very merry bar humbug to you, Ebenezer. Well, young man, how'd it go? Pretty good shindig? Plenty of presents? I colored them wrong. You did? Who? Santa Claus. You've only got the pink and orange color. The Santa who came to visit us in Kansas was a few shades darker. Now listen, kid. Ours is just a pretend Santa Claus, a shill for company parties. The jury's still out on the real one. You doctors sure talk funny. Are these all you have? What do you want from me, lady? If you don't like what I got left, see the boss. You know what I mean? He does all the heavy thinking. I just hustle the ferns. Where's the boss? Up near Bakersfield. It's just that we're used to different trees back east. You know, ones with branches on each side and yeah, yeah, yeah. needles well, on them. This is it. You know what I mean? I mean, who waits until now? Right? Right. I mean, this is Christmas Eve. How about this kid? You like him voluptuous? Huh? Plenty of girth, huh? No. No. This is a good tree, a May Wester. The boys overseas will go fruit over this tree. I mean, it's got class. You know what I mean? No, sir. It's not Oh, huh? You want taller? You got taller. Here's the official Wolf the Stoke model. I mean, this is a tall tree. It's rather naked, too. What do we got here? A fashion show? I mean, you want them tall or covered with ferns? I mean, what are you looking for in the waning hours? Out of my whole leftover stock? Something traditional. Wide at the bottom, narrow at the top, preferably green. Oh, lady. You've been reading too many Christmas cards. You know what I mean? I mean, nobody's got trees like that. Maybe Walt Disney and that bug-eyed mouse or the gang in the White House. But in real life... Oh, come on, lady. I got it, I got it. See this kid? A bargain. Sold this to a little old lady in sneakers about three days ago. Ain't come back. I'm gonna give it to you cheap, kid, because I like your looks. I mean, you and the tree, side by side, look like Norman Rockwell. Who's he? A beautiful person. That's who. Buys all his trees from my boss up in Bakersfield. Uh, smokes a pipe. This is you, kid. It's got your name on it. Now, what's your name? Corey. See? Didn't I tell you? Corey. All the ferns. Corey. But the trunk is so crooked. The whole world's crooked, lady. Corey, this is you, kid. It's crying out for you. Give me a break. Give me a home. It's Christmas Eve. Take me, says Corey. Uh, look at me with lights and then tinsel and a star on top. Give me some water. I mean, give me a chance. Spray me with that uh, snowflake stuff. Carrie! Corey! Uh, yeah. Just take it, Mom. He's such a friendly tree. But it's so crooked, Corey. Corey, don't leave me behind. Please, Mom, left. If we don't take him, he won't have any Christmas at all. We can fix him up. Please. What's a home without a fern lady? And vice versa. I love this tree, Mama. Are you sure this tree will stand up? Lady, this is a tree you'll never forget. Would I lie to you? Yes. <laughs> You'll never forget. You know what I mean? I know what you mean, all right. But that's the fourth time, Mama. Can we take a bath? Oh, darling, by now that man is probably somewhere near Bakersfield, giggling. <laughs> Boy, I'm sorry. I guess he saw me coming. Where did you hear that? Uncle Lou, he used to say it all the time. Yeah. You miss him, don't you? Remember how we put up the old tree last year? Went all the way up to the ceiling. Then Santa stopped by. Can we go to Kansas for Christmas, Mama? Not this Christmas, Corey. But maybe next year. They really know how to throw a good Christmas in Kansas. I remember one Christmas in Germany with your daddy. We hiked out into a beautiful snowy forest up in the mountains. We chopped down our very own tree. We dragged it home. I 
made hot cocoa. We decorated it by the firelight. Did you give me any cocoa? Oh, you were just a baby. Guess I wasn't much help. Oh, yes, you were. You cheered us on with gurgles and smiles and giggles. In a zigzag sort of way. It's the dumbest tree ever. Maybe I can tie it to the window. Give me a hand. Oh. Oops. Can you hold it for me? Yeah, sure. Can you give it loose? Hey, Coy. I've got a present for you. Merry Christmas. Thanks. I have one for you, too. Oh, good. Wait here. abstract pine. They're all the rage this year. Oh, ours is a plain old traditional. <laughs> what happens if you untie it? Uh, I keep hoping it'll run away. Usually <laughs> falls asleep on the floor. <laughs> Many people have trees like this? Only the in crowd. Mommy, <laughs> mommy! What now? L.J. Wildron keeps saying Santa's wife. Look at your present. He's white. He's black. I saw him in Kansas. He's white. Now, please, quiet, boys. As I told you this morning, Corey, Santa Claus is different colors to different people. Really, he's the spirit of Christmas giving. Now, Mrs. Baker's right. Now, both of you, knock it off. And you take your present. Keep your dumb old present. Stop it, you Corey. You yours. Now, knock it off, boys. You, you're coming downstairs. I'm sorry, Julia. Merry Christmas, Carol. Merry Christmas. Our apologies, Julia. Bye, Carol. He's white right with a big red nose. <laughs> Last chorus of White Christmas. It's times like this when I wish everybody was beige or plaid, especially Santa Claus.
find the happy me. <laughs> Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. All the fields we go, lots of love away. Song about tail ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight. <laughs> Well, when it comes to holidays, you folks sure go all out. <laughs> this one's white, too, Ma. What difference does it make, son? As long as he's a good man. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! It's Santa Claus! It is Santa Claus! Mommy, it's Santa! Good boy, Cory Baker? I tried very hard to be, especially lately. Good. In that case, I'll leave your name on the list for a late night stop. We don't have a chimney, Santa. How will you get in? Oh, ho. That's a trade secret, Sonny. Where are all your reindeer? Last minute checkup before takeoff. At a gas station? <laughs> no, a drive in restaurant. France is hooked on milkshakes. And Rudolph digs chili con carne. No kidding, I didn't know that. Sure, that's how Rudolph keeps his nose red. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas! I thought you didn't want to anyway. Well, we rented the suit, didn't we? Uh, well, maybe we can get a rain check for next Halloween. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Bye, Santa! Merry Christmas! Thank you so much, Santa. Happy Christmas, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> See, Mama, he was black. Yes, he was. Who is it? Santa Claus, off a glass soldier. Another Santa Claus. <laughs> the screws type. Oh, what a very good man. <laughs> like old times, huh? In 1968, singer-actress Diane Carroll made a historic mark on the predominantly white landscape of network television as Julia. The first series to portray an African-American woman as a white-collar professional, Julia followed the life of a young widowed nurse trying to raise her son on her own. We are proud to present this groundbreaking series as TV Land celebrates Black History Month. <laughs> 